Greetings, it's Kimberly Sherry, International Energy Healer, helping you lead a life of wealth without worry. Welcome to Friday's Inspiration. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about some um, an energy update, uh, which I have some brand new information hot off the press, <laughs> just discovered this morning. So I'm excited to be sharing about that. Thanks for coming on, Adriana. And uh, so today what I wanted to talk about, though, was um, about being awake. So uh, being awake, being conscious, being more, um, some people are calling it enlightened. Um, whatever phrase you want to uh, call it, it's something that can be measured. So the amount of how, um, yeah, conscious we are. Uh, so this is, this is something that can be measured now. And an interesting thing about being conscious and awake, so this is like what everybody's trying to do and how, I, how they're all trying to uh, have more awareness. And so I want to talk about some of the advantages of like, why do we want to wake up? <laughs> it's like we've been in this deep slumber, this deep sleep. And so most people will acknowledge that the whole purpose of, of being awake is to discover more of who we are, more of our divine essence, that energy of love that we are, all this radiantness uh, is really all divine source. And so there's a lot of advantages of being able to be connected to that. One is the most obvious is that it's going to bring more joy to our life. So um, when we're talking about being more conscious and awake, um, one of the, the advantages of being conscious is that you can see more things you see you have more awareness about the games people pay, play whether or not people are being honest um, just there's more transparency there's no more hiding really when people can when you know you're being seen and um, and when you feel seen vice versa uh, it just helps people to be more transparent more authentic more you know more of who we're meant to be so that's really an important part of being more conscious and awake and um, thanks for everybody coming on. Hey, Jack. So uh, another advantage, uh, the second advantage of being conscious and awake is, and, and I didn't say this in the beginning, you know, the, the majority of people on the planet are only about 15% awake. Like they've only awakened about 15%. Hey, Jack. And, um, you know, when I, when I do these numbers, some people feel judged by numbers. Uh, but that's only because they're holding some of their own self-judgments. And when I uh, say numbers, some people think, oh, you're just trying to think you're better than other people. And it has absolutely nothing to do with that. I use the numbers as a way of just sort of evaluating where I'm at. Then it helps me to accelerate and, and uh, where I want to grow more or, or less. Or, and so that's what the numbers are all about. So when I say that the majority of people are only 15% awake, um, but that I have a 50% consciousness, what that tells me is I still have 50% more to go. And so that's why I use these numbers to evaluate the people that I decide to follow. So one of my mentors, Mas Sajadi, he had two near-death experiences, and that's how his awakening uh, got created and how that happened. Personally, I think I'm opting out for the near-death experiences for my awakening. I want to do it more gradually, more consciously, slower, so that it's not so drastic and radical. You know, if you're going to wake up like that, that, that means that's going to be pretty hard on your body. So I like the idea of waking up more gradually, but more consciously and more on purpose. So that's what the numbers are about. So Masajati is one of my mentors. And then another person that, I, that I've been following, and not so much because he's a mentor, but more, um, okay, good, thanks, Jack. Uh, but more I'm, I'm following this other person I'm about to mention because he is also 100% awake, but then that gives him access to more information. And so this is Corey Good. He is someone who uh, was involved in the Secret Space, Secret Space Program um, I'm not going to go into a bunch of, about that, but um, at any rate, there's a, a program that is being operated secretly, and uh, so he was um, taken off planet along with hundreds of other people, 
And uh, so in the process, after doing this three times, you know, they, each time they would come back and erase all of his memories and then put him into military duty, so that was his last memories. Um, but eventually the erasures stopped working and then he started remembering everything that um, happened. And so he's been a whistleblower since 2015. And so I've measured his consciousness and measuring the truth of what he's talking about and it's true. What he's talking about is true. And so one of the things that um, I was listening to a couple videos last night and I did post them on my page. Uh, and to me, it, it's, it's very validating and also comforting. So one of the things that was really validating was, um, for those of you who have, who have been following, know that I've been talking about this energy of the, um, the 1%. And so in these videos, they were talking about how uh, this 1%, how they've been using mind control. You know that wet blanket that I've been talking about? Well, that's not a figment of our imagination. It's not something we're making up. This is something that's literally happening. And if you watch those videos, you'll see exactly how they're doing it. So one is through our cell phones. There's a specific radio frequency or a frequency that they can use to implant thoughts. And um, and there's also, um, well, I'm just gonna let you watch the video so you can, can see, because some of it is, is, is a little bit um, shocking. And that's what they're hoping to do is to create this disclosure. But instead of a partial disclosure, which is what the government wants, uh, they want full disclosure. They want all the advanced technologies that are being hidden from man that can give us clean water, that can do away with cancer and do away with all kinds of diseases. Um, that all of these things need to come out for the public has a right to know these things and but it's coming they want it to come out slowly because they know it's going to be really shocking and really hard for people to fathom what's been going on so uh, take a peek at those videos you'll have to scroll down on my page to see them but I think it's really important that I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I know are valuable and that are true because I've measured it and I only follow people that are in either a high vibration or they're very conscious. So Corey uh, obviously created his awakening by having um, done these secret space programs and each time being erased and so anyway he um, he's very awake and has very powerful sometimes scary information um, but the thing that I wanted to talk about, and as far as waking up and being awake, is that um, as I've been exploring in my expansion and my awakening, this is how I've been finding these new energies in these outer layers where the 1% has been hiding and this reptilian energy has been hiding. In these videos, you'll see where they talk about this reptilian energy as the Draco energy. So. Um, it's just been a real validation that here I've been working with these energies for the last year, just kind of measuring things and trying to understand it all. And then this come, information comes along and it's a total validation of what I've been exploring for the past year. Uh, so in this expansion and in these, as I'm discovering what's in these outer layers, uh, discovered something this morning. So in watching that video last night, they were talking about, so this is the good news, um, that yes, we have this dominant energy on the planet that has been controlling all of humanity and it's basically we've become free range slaves. Uh, some not so free range that they're literally being, um, you know, there's sex rings, slaves, sex slavery going on and off planet slavery. Anyway. It's a little bit mind-boggling, um, but at any rate, so this 1% influence I discovered in the 15th layer, uh, then in that um, 25th layer found where all the fear entities uh, occupy, and again, this was validated in the video that this is what this Draco energy uses to control us, is these fear entities. So I've been following that um, or discovering these fear entities for a while now, more than a couple years, but anyway, um, really paying attention in this last year. So today, uh, when I was working with a client, discovered 
a new energy in another even further out layer and the good news is that these are this is like what's coming to our rescue so in this 40th layer now we're all the way out to the 40th layer this is where this alliance is occupying so once we've cleared enough of these energies now we have access to this alliance that is working in our favor that's working behind the scenes with people on the planet who are in high levels and there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that they don't want us to know because people can't handle it but the good news is that now we have access uh, to this or i'll say at least i've connected with this powerful energy um, that we can start getting information from about how we can even step more fully into our power so that's something that i'm super excited about and all of this stuff that's kind of a little bit out there maybe for some of you i am outlining in the book that i'm focusing on really getting done right now and the name of that book is called access your ultimate power it's the blueprint to your infinite intelligence. So that's what I'm working on and uh, all of this will be outlined in there. Uh, the third thing that I wanted to share about um, the advantages of being awake and being, being more conscious is that then you can help other people. Hey David, thanks for joining. Um, then you're able to help more people. And so, you know, we only need to be a few steps ahead of the people that we're helping and you know we're all sort of pulling each other up and i have to find people that are a little further up along the their evolution to kind of help pull me up and um and sometimes i find people that may be less in some area but higher in another area and so we kind of help each help each other up out uh you know pulling each other up and so that's what we're doing we're all helping each other uh get through this time that is about to get um, probably a little scarier for some people if you're not grounded and if you're watching too much of the news and feeding yourself with all of the fear that they want to keep us in and if you don't know how to manage these energies of the one percent and this um, reptilian energy then it's then you're going to just be in fear and so the good news is that now we have some tools to help navigate and remove these influences so that we don't have to feel so tired and exhausted and um, feeling hopeless and you know a lot of people are just feeling very um, brought down thanks for joining us Susan good to see you <laughs> oh you can see me but I can see your name there anyway um, so it's uh, I'm really excited about all the changes that are happening because that means that there's some really good things that are going to come of this there's when you have to you know when a shoot is coming through the earth it pushes up a lot of dirt first and then that new shoot comes up and and then that's what we can start uh, fostering so uh, it's it's good news and I'm excited and I hope you guys are too so there's really nothing to be afraid of just keep using your tools the tools I keep teaching you in fact let's do that right now let's just get really grounded so as a reminder three parts to getting ultra grounded is to send down that grounding cord from the base of your spine to the center of the planet hey love <laughs> and <clears throat> start sending those roots down from your feet so that you can stay connected to the earth the earth is a very stable place that you can always rely on so then you're bringing up that earth energy through your legs excellent up through the upper part of your thighs and then when it meets your grounding cord it's going to go down your grounding cord about 500 miles because that's how far down your roots are going and then you're just going to bring that up again through your legs excellent and then let's see if you have a worry circle so ideally you won't have one but uh, the way to discover is you can count you can muscle test how far out is your worry circle if you don't want to do any of those things or you're not sure just go out to the 15th layer just imagine you know where that is and start pulling in that energy from there. Uh, but
but for most of you right now, the energy is stuck right at that third layer around your root chakra where it doesn't feel safe to step into your power. And so we're just going to pull in that energy at that root so you can let go of some of that fear. There's a lot of fear going on um, on the planet as you look out and watching the news and, and paying attention to all of that. It's all designed to keep you in fear. So it's your choice if you want to keep watching that, but that's, that's what it's designed to do. Okay, and then right at that root chakra, right at the first layer, there's some rage. So it's pretty maddening to know uh, that we've been these slaves for all this time and um, that we've been ruled by these entities, people, if you want to call them people, they don't seem very human to me, um, that don't care. You know, they operate with zero heart and a lot of anger. And um, okay, there we go. Okay, so sending all that fear down your grounding. So those are the three parts. That's a really important tool that you need to practice every day. Maybe, uh, you know, pulling in that from that 15th layer, whenever you feel tired, whenever you feel that like, ugh, and it's like the flip of a switch. You can be fine one minute and then all of a sudden it's like a wet blanket. So you just go out to that 15th layer and just pull in that circle. That's, that's where this energy is affecting you. So I, I've got a um, couple clients that I'm, that I'm working with and we're, we're seeing if we can discover some other ways to combat this influence, like turning off the phone, turning off your phone completely. Uh, when, you, when you feel, I know, people still watching the news, that's hard to believe, <laughs> but they do. They don't want to miss something, but uh, that's a lot of stuff you need to miss it is on the news. So. Uh, yeah, just pull in that energy whenever you feel that. And uh, so one of the things we're experimenting with is uh, turning off the phone when you feel that wet blanket because they're also coming in through the, the frequencies on our cell phones. These are tracking devices. And um, so you can try experimenting with that as well and let me know if it's helping because the more people that are, that are doing this, um, it's raising the consciousness of the planet. So I'm finding more and more people that are at this 50% um, consciousness, that are, are awake 50%. And so the more of us that are there, we can pull the ones up that are below us, pull them up. And this is all part of the ascension, if you want to call it that, the awakening, the mass consciousness that's evolving, this whole transformation we're going through. So the good news is that we've got this alliance now in the 40th layer that we could start connecting to. And um, so I'm excited about that. So keep waking up. <laughs> There's only goodness. The more you wake up, the more uh, joy you're going to be experiencing. You'll be experiencing more of how we were meant to live and enjoy life. So I hope you go out and enjoy this weekend. Uh, here it's beautiful, it's warm, it's probably 75 degrees right now. And, um, and soon winter will be over. So, you know, you're, we're still kind of in that inward energy of winter, but we're starting to prepare for the spring and when we're coming out. And you can see how fast time is, is traveling. Here we are already at Friday again. So uh, next Friday we'll be here before you know it. So st stop delaying. If there's anything that you, you want to do, well, just do it. Just do it. All right. Make it a great weekend this weekend and keep asking my favorite question. How? How does it get any better than this? And stay in that blissful question of I wonder. Much love, friends. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.